here's the manual saw. This is one of the original Bonnie Dune saw guides. Carriage has been replaced a couple times. And I added this handy dandy little pedal here to save wear and tear in my right arm. Hold down clamp to save my left arm. Bigger table for bigger die. Armrests. But the basic saw guide is here. The, these two arms hold the jeweler saw frame in while it goes up and down. A miracle of modern engineering. I kid you not. Oh, magnet. Mm. This saw is not as dangerous as the motor saw, so I'll take the finger guards off just to have more control. See, I'm using my hand here to hold this device down, which holds the die down, instead of always having to have my fingers right there holding it down. Looks like, from the operator's point of view, I can stick this in here real quick. There's your basic saw guide. is my die sawing, motorized die sawing saw. I have a manual one too. Behind here is uh, the leg powered one. This is a prototype saw built by Lee Marshall, uh, the original uh, Bonnie Dune guy, late great Lee. It's based on his original design which has these two arms that hold the jeweler saw frame in place keep it going uh, vertical and this carriage has been replaced a few times um, the original one wore out and I've rebuilt different incarnations of the carriage which uh, is uh, driven by a gear motor hidden behind this box here so the motor drives a, a yoke that um, makes this up and go up and down and um, this alignment for that is this shaft here inside a pipe sleeve so the saw clips in to this spring loaded frame and I'm cutting a piece of 1 16th inch 01 tool steel with a size 1 Swiss made 4 platinum jeweler saw blade those are the only kind of blades I'll use for this work. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, I said it's I said it's based on his design. It is his design and the functional parts are all still there. I made several additions, uh, the armrests, the larger work table, lots of structural support to make it more rigid. This lovely thing which is a hold down aid uh, and it hold down aid number two over here so that allows me to relax this arm 
and mostly it's just the weight of my arm and hand on this piece that holds it down plus this keeps it from flopping up and down so much that the blade would break and that allows me to uh, relax my left shoulder and minimize the wear and tear on it so I'm really you, you can't hold it down real tight or you won't be able to guide it very well and plus over the years this kind of work can be very uh, destructive on body parts so I need, needed to figure out ways to uh, to minimize that oh yes the lovely 8 inch deep half inch square aluminum beam frame he built me a long time ago I know uh, uh, new concepts the other company Lee formed has more modernized better designed more advanced sawing devices but these work and I love them